This was shot at F8 at ISO 12800. So anyone going out taking photographs of the Northern Lights at F8 at ISO 12800 and underexposing purposely by one stop is a bit nuts. But that's what I did. So let's get into it. Hello and welcome to my Adobe Lightroom Denoise vs Topaz Photo AI Noise Reduction Shootout. Yes, I shot this photograph at F8 on the Northern Lights because there was an immense aurora while we were over there. So this was a test shot just to see if I could actually reduce the noise in these photographs going forward. So um, as you can see, the exposure here, I've bumped up by plus one. The shadows are by plus 50. So there is an incredible amount of noise in this photograph. I could have quite easily shot this at f2.8 and kept my ISO way down along and my exposure correct and I would have got a cracking photograph. So if you're screaming at your camera or screaming at your computer right now saying, what the hell were you doing shooting at f8? This is exactly why I shot this at f8. So Adobe Lightroom Dino versus Topaz Photo AI noise reduction shootout. Let's go. So we're going to start off in Adobe Lightroom. So we're down here in the details panel. We're going to click on Denoise. So if I click on Denoise, this is going to pop up our little preview box here with a window. And we're going to, going to what we're going to do is just move this around so we can get a small bit of detail in the sky. And here in the foreground, maybe that's not the right spot. We run down along here. There we go. That's That looks good enough. So we're going to click on that. And what we're going to do is play around with this. So obviously you can see there's still quite a bit of noise here, even in the enhanced preview. So that's at 38% and not good enough. We're going to run up to 67, right? That's getting better. We're going to go, if we, if we whack it all the way up to 100, you can see that's going to be super clean. But we are going to start losing detail. So if I bring that back down along there now again a small bit. Yeah. What I'm just trying to do is, because we're zoomed in so much as we're, we're trying to get detail with a small bit of noise, a very fine amount of noise in the background. You do not want this super clean. That looks kind of good enough there now, because remember, we're zoomed in an awful lot in this image here now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Enhance and give it a second there now. So this is our original image. Our enhanced image is coming up there fairly soon. And this is our enhanced image. So that looks super clean. So this is the enhanced image in Lightroom. And this is the original. So the original and the enhanced image. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in along here now. And you can see that is super clean up along there. As we're looking at, there still is a very fine amount of noise, which is what you want to keep. And even look at the texture here now and whatnot. That all looks really good. And if I zoom in along on the original, try and get it roughly on the same spot. So the original, so this is the edited version or the noise reduction, the, no, the denoised version. And this is the original. Well, wow, look at the sky, look at the detail here. So this is the original raw file and this now is the edited version. Happy enough with that now, being honest with you. The only thing I would probably do there now is just go up and open out the shadows Another small little bit, maybe somewhere there. Pull back and have a look and see. Yeah, that looks that looks kind of good enough. We're gonna go down here again and just sharpen the image there now a small bit. Okay, don't wanna to go too far. Bring our details up around 1.3 and masking. Leave our masking around there now, roughly 70%. Yeah. So okay, that's our finished photograph there now, sorting in Adobe Lightroom. So let's go back to our original. This is our original, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open I'm gonna open the original in Photo AI and we're gonna see how we get on then. So here we have our photograph in Topaz Photo AI. It's just after opening out, or it's everything is set on auto, isn't it? Yeah, use autopilot settings, just remove noise. We haven't clicked on sharpening or anything else. And let's have a look at our details here and whatnot. That actually looks quite good. That looks quite good there on Topaz Photo AI. What I'm gonna do is just gonna pull back and just let that work its magic there now again and remove noise and whoa. That looks very blurred. And those fence posts look blurred too as well. Now again, this is completely on autopilot settings. So, and it's just removed noises on here now at the moment. Let's have a look and see. So it's on strong. The strength is at 81, the detail is at 33. But I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna have a look at the original. So that's the original. You can see those posts are sharp enough. Again, as I say, this was shot at F8. So going back to Topaz Photo AI, yeah, they're all kind of blurred. The sky is super clean though, so we, we're just going to edit on that, but I'm just, before, before we do any more, I'm just going to look at the, this is the finished Lightroom version. That is sharper going along there. So let's have a play around with the Topaz Photo AI version. So the one thing what I might do is just pull the strength back a small bit, because if we zoom in along here again, I went a bit too far, sorry about that. If we zoom in along here, we'll get, say, roughly around the same. This is the section we were looking at earlier in Lightroom, when we are looking at our enhanced preview window. 
So I just want to keep a small bit of noise in the sky because keeping that small bit of noise in the sky should give us some bit of detail. That's kind of close enoughish there now, I'd say. If I zoom back, let's have a look here now on that. Updates here now again, removing noise on the entire image there now. That doesn't look quite right to me there now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pull back the strength here now again. So that is the preview updated and that still doesn't look good enough. Now we're in strong, the strong two, normal two are normal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try strong two here now for argument's sake. And that is updating there now. So I'm going to skip through to the edited version here now. No, that looks like some kind of CGI or something. That That's a bit too severe. But again, this is, this is a beta version. So let's go back to strong again. And what I'm going to do is bring that down and bring our details up maybe a small little bit. So that looks a lot better. Preview, still, still not right. It's all right, but those fence posts, they look shockingly bad. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to normal. So when I click on normal, now the difference between the normal and the strong algorithms is obviously normal is not going to remove as much noise. As we can see here quite clearly, there is a massive amount of noise staying here in the shadow detail. So even if I bring the strength way up, because the strength is way down, I'll bring that up to let's say 90 something percent, it still isn't removing the noise. The noise is still there. And let's bring our detail back down along, sorry. So even with the detail back down, if I zoom back from that, and we have a quick look here now and see, and that is not going to look good. No, that looks horrific. But you can see those fence posts are sharper. They are sharper there now. So um, we're going to go back to strong. So we're going to leave it on strong and we're going to leave our strengths probably down around here and our details, we'll bring them up a bit and see how that looks now. So the overall image there now, that still looks, it's this whole section here and those fence posts look, look really poor. So going back to the Lightroom version. So this is the Lightroom denoise version. That looks a lot better. Now maybe it is a slight bit CGI based too as well, but it's, it's not too bad. Whereas that just looks really blurred and that looks really blurred. Sorry, we'll just try sharpening. So if I click on sharpening here now and have a look and see. So this is switching on sharpening in Topaz Photo AI. And we're going to see how that looks. That still doesn't look right to me. And ooh, we're getting all lines here. And here. Wait on a second now if I zoom in. Let's have a look and see. I can see lines. I don't see them there now when you're zoomed in. Oh, there. There, there, there. There's colored bending lines running down through here. Um, so standard and the strength is down really low and clarity. So, okay, we're going to switch off. We're going to switch off sharpening. So this is our original photograph. This is our Lightroom photograph. And now this is our photo AI photograph. Wow. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sharpen that too as well again a bit. That is ridiculous. Sorry, no, this is, uh, this is, this is genuinely my first time. I wasn't expecting there to be this much of a difference. This section here, it just looks nuts. And those fence posts. So you can see I'm zoomed in at 100% here now. And again, this is a worst case scenario. This was shot at F8 at ISO 12,800. So anyone going out taking photographs with the Northern Lights at F8 at ISO 12,800 and underexposing purposely by one stop is a bit nuts. But that's what I did. Now, in all fairness, when I do zoom in at 100%, you can see all these kind of artifacts. It looks a bit like a Van Gogh painting when it's zoomed in at 100% and the same thing up along here. And this is the Lightroom version. But look at those fence posts. On average, they look a lot sharper. There is kind of an artistic, sort of an impressionistic painted version of this of this here now. It's kind of like art CGI or something. It's just, it just looks a bit weird. Now, I did spend a lot of time editing this in Topaz Photo AI, whereas in Lightroom, what I literally did is I went in, I went down to, um, sorry, what am I doing? I went down here to denoise and clicked on that. So maybe that's what I should do again. But instead of going 70%, uh, maybe I'll try 56% and move that up along and just have a look here. There's just a bit of noise there. So I'm going to try that. So I'll click on enhance and let's see what happens. All right. All right, folks, we have, I think we have a winner here. I, I really think we have a winner here. And that looks a lot better. But there is a bit of noise there. But it just looks far more realistic. So I'm, I'm actually going to pick this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the original one I did. So this is the original photograph in Lightroom with no noise reduction applied. Now swipe you across from the right, you can see the Topaz Photo AI edit. And it is super clean. 
it has done a fantastic job of clearing out the sky really making that sky super smooth super clean but the foreground those fin fence posts down below they just look soft the whole image looks like it's covered in vaseline here you can see the lightroom edit swiping across the screen and that is so much sharper now at the same time you might be shouting at the screen right now saying oh my god kieran i don't like the lightroom edit because that just doesn't look real again popping back to the topaz photo ai version it just looks so soft and yes there is a color shift too as well but i sometimes find that when you're exporting photographs backwards and forwards the topaz photo ai that you do get a slight color shift now the exposures aren't exactly matching as you can see too as well but they're very close but just looking at the two images lightroom is so very much sharper and to think this is the first attempt or first version in lightroom at denoise and as far as i can see they have completely blown topaz photo ai out of it there is no comparison to them again this is an extreme case and again you might also be saying kieran that looks horrific but you can dial back the noise reduction a small bit more too as well if you want maybe reduce the contrast in those areas in the front and the blacks to get rid of that kind of like um artistic impressionistic van gogh kind of a look to your to your picture what do you think which one do you think is better as far as i'm concerned and again this is an extreme case i genuinely think lightroom has really upset the apple tart here it has thrown the cat in amongst the pigeons <laughs> it's brought a shotgun to the party let's just put it that way so thanks a million for watching everyone and see you in the next video and see you out there